at Vladimir Putin's World Cup, there is one place in Russia where sport and politics are proving hard to separate. This is Grozny, Chechnya. The Egyptian team has its World Cup base here. Fit again after injury, Liverpool's Mo Salah is trying to focus on football, but he's faced some distractions. A week ago, Mo Salah was paraded around the stadium by Chechnya's controversial leader. Ramzan Kadyrov is on the US sanctions list. He's been accused of gross violations of human rights. But he was still happy to invite us to his palace. Mr. Kadyrov is a former Chechen rebel who switched to the Kremlin side, and he rules Chechnya like a personal fiefdom. Your critics say that you used Mo Salah for political propaganda, for self-promotion. Did you? <laughs> Everyone has played here, even Maradona. But we never use this kind of thing for politics. Our enemies are paid to write things like that. I didn't invite Mo Salah or the Egyptian team. They chose us themselves. Of course, politicians all over the world love photo opportunities with stars. But what made this one controversial? What makes the Egyptian team's presence in Chechnya controversial is the reputation of Ramzan Kadyrov as one of the most powerful and most feared men in Russia. Driving around Grozny, you can see that Chechnya under Ramzan Kadyrov has risen from the ashes, from the rubble of two wars. But at what cost? Human rights groups say he's created a climate of fear they accuse his security forces of arbitrary arrests and torture and of targeting Chechnya's gay community. Extrajudicial executions, forced disappearance of opponents, persecution of, of homosexuals, these are the allegations made against you and Chechnya. Is this true? The people who write these things, I don't consider them people. We don't have homo... Homo... what did you call it? Homosexuality? We don't even know that word. We don't talk about gays. We don't have a single one. Here, a man is a man. A woman is a woman. A dog is a dog. In Chechnya, people cherish their customs, their faith. They are a peace-loving nation, their leader says. But it is Ramzan Kadyrov's image which jars with what FIFA claims the World Cup is about, bringing people together. Steve Rosenberg, BBC News, Grozny.